What is going on Diablo 2 fans, Dobrensky here and it kind of occurred to me when I sent out a recent community poll, I wanted to sort of gauge this YouTube community's feedback on sort of the videos you guys wanted to see leading up to Diablo 2 Resurrected. And I think that there's going to be a lot of new players that are going to be trying out Diablo 2 Resurrected for the first time. So because of that, I decided to sort of make a few or integrate a few really kind of beginner tutorial sort of guides for D2R. And that's what today's video is going to be. It's sort of a rumored 101 guide for you guys that are making your way through normal specific types of bases and some powerful rumors that you can use to sort of make your first playthrough if you're brand new to the game a little bit easier. So I do hope you guys enjoy this video. Quick reminder for those that don't know, I do stream twice a week on Twitch. So if you guys do enjoy this YouTube content and you want to catch me live streaming Diablo 2 Resurrected or other games, you could always hit me up with a follow. Got the link for my Twitch channel in the description below. Twitch slash Dabronski125. Any follows over there on that platform would be very much appreciated. But guys, I really hope you enjoy this video. Let's jump in. All right, guys, so the first thing that I'm going to cover is two important things you need to know about Rolling Rumored. So again, assuming you guys are brand new to Diablo 2 and you really don't know what a Rumored is, the two things that you need to worry about is that you're using the correct base and that you're putting the runes in the correct order. So I have a little demonstration here to show off three different examples of attempted Rumoreds that I'm going to roll. So this is going to be the Rumored Leaf. And I'm going to show you how to do it correctly and how to do it improperly based on choosing the wrong base and the wrong order of runes. Now, for this video, I literally cannot cover every single possible rune word and their combinations of runes to make them. It's just too much information, so I highly recommend that you guys check out the Ariat Summit. Got the website linked in the description below. It covers everything you need to know about Diablo 2 LOD, and a lot of that information, or really all of that information, will port over to Diablo 2 Resurrected. So I highly recommend you guys check it out if you need to know anything about specific rune words or really anything else in the game. And I do also highly recommend that you guys check out Max Rule. It's sort of a work in progress. When Diablo 2 Resurrected launches, we will have everything set up. We're working on it behind the scenes right now, but definitely check out Max Roll in the future. So here are my three leaf bases. So this is a short staff, two open sockets with the correct order of runes, a tur and a ral rune. This is a two open socket staff, but it's a magic base. So you need to use white bases for rolling rune words. So this is going to net me a failed leaf attempt. And then I have another white staff here, but I switched the order of the runes around. So it's a router. So very, very basic demonstration, but you will not believe the amount of times I've seen people roll Hodos or Heart of the Oak in the wrong base just because they didn't look up the specific base type that they needed. So quickly running through this example here, this short staff, Tur, and a Ral successfully rolled the rumored leaf. This is a fantastic rumor to use if you're starting out as a sorceress or a fire druid or a fire traps in a normal. It's a very, very powerful skill, or excuse me, it's a very, very powerful rumor that gives you three to fire skills and then any additional stats that you have on the staff, like let's say you happen to find a base that has three to warmth, you will get a total of six to warmth rolling the rumored leaf in that staff. And here is the magic base. So Turrell, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Because I used the wrong base. You need to use a white rune, excuse me, you need to use a white weapon base. You cannot use a magic or rare or anything that won't work for a weapon base. And then the final example here, the same thing. This is a correct white uh, short staff, two open sockets. I'm going to put a Ral rune and a Tur rune. The wrong order. It's not going to roll leaf, right? Because I didn't put the runes in the correct order. So now that we have a pretty solid base understanding of how to roll rune words, I now want to talk about the Countess. She's a very important super unique that is located in Act 1, the Black Marsh, in the fifth level of the Forgotten Tower. So I first want to talk about target farming her, so how to effectively find her, and then what runes we specifically want to drop off of her. So the easy way to find the tower, almost every map roll, it's always going to be in the perimeter of the Black Marsh. So if you just run around the perimeter of the map, you will eventually run into it. Very, very occasionally it'll spawn in the center, but more often than not, if you just run a circle around the perimeter, you will eventually find the Forgotten Tower. That is step number one. Step number two is always going to the left. That is going to help you find the next level of the tower to get down to the fifth level quicker. There's one little caveat here though, is that three rights in the game counts as making a left. So. Just keep that in mind, always work your way to the left and you will typically find that next level, but the odd time might throw a curveball at you and you have to do three rights to make a left to get down to the next level. So now that we have a basic understanding of how to find the Countess, I want to talk about some of the desirable runes and rune words that we are going to try and make 
from farming her specifically. So the runes that you're going to be hunting for is a Tal rune, an Eth rune, a Tur rune, and a Rel rune, specifically to roll the four rune words Stealth, Leaf, Steel, and Malice. Now typically Steel and Malice will be used for melee characters starting out, and Stealth is pretty much used on melee and caster characters from the start, and then Leaf is going to be for anything that's fire. So if you want to play Fire Sorcerer through normal, Fire Druid, or Fire Traps him, that is going to be your go-to rumor because those three to fire skills is a significant damage boost. Fortunately, a lot of the bases required for these rumors can easily be shot from vendors in either Act 1 or Act 2. So two open socket body armors and two open socket weapons you can easily get from Charcy. Two open socket stabs you can shot from Akara. And then in Act 2 you can find three open socket shields and three open socket maces from Farah. Now the reason why I mentioned a three open socket shield is because as you progress through the game and make your way to Act 5, when you complete quest number two, you will get three runes they can use to make the rune word Ancient's Pledge. This is a very, very powerful shield to use early on, and getting that three open socket large shield ahead of time from Act 2 and Normal can just save you a lot of time and really boost up your strength while you're trying to take on Bale in Act 5 in Normal. And the final rumor that I want to talk about is Spirit. This is going to be the number one caster weapon that you're going to make as you leave Normal Difficulty and transition into Nightmare. So typically this rumor is rolled in Nightmare because you can't really get the Am rune or it takes you a long time unless you're farming cows or moving into Nightmare. But I wanted to stress that there's three specific bases that can drop in Act 5 that you can Larzic socket quest to get guaranteed four open sockets. And that is any Crystal Sword, any Broad Sword, or any Long Sword that drops anywhere from Act 5 and into farming cows after you've killed Bale. Those will Larzic for four open sockets. So it's an easy way to guarantee yourself a base to roll the rumored spirit but again i want to be very kind of important here stress this i should say that longsword is the poorest of the three choices it has a very high dexterity requirement it is far better off to use a base like a crystal sword or a broadsword to roll the rumored spirit well guys there you have it that wraps up today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it i want to make it very clear that this video was just an introduction to rumors and then focusing on some of the more powerful starter rumors to make your way through normal difficulty I can do an expansion on this video and kind of do a nightmare sort of progressing into hell difficulty and then your end game, you know, top tier hell rumors. If you guys would like to see that content, again, let me know in the comment section below. I'm trying to split the different videos that I have between Diablo 2 Resurrected News, beginner guides, end game content, and RNG magic fighting runs, and really just trying to encompass everything. But if you guys do want to see an expansion on this series, again, let me know in the comment section below. I always read the comments. I don't always reply, but I do always read them and base future videos off of them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it informative and useful. And as always, if you guys could throw a like on this video, share it, and even consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. I post new weekly content on YouTube and I do stream twice a week on Twitch. So any follows on Twitch or subs on YouTube would be amazing. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a fan frickin' day and I'll catch you on my next video or live stream. Peace out.